Augie, the Augment Code CLI is now publicly available for everyone with an Augment Code account. We're betting the future of developer tooling lives beyond the IDE. It's scriptable, composable, and CI/CD ready. You can install it with this npm command here. Of course, you need Node probably version 22 or above. And if you already have it installed, you can upgrade it by adding dash dash upgrade to the end. You can check the version you're running after you've installed it with Augie dash dash version. I'm running 0.4 at the time of this video. Everything I'll be showing will be in greater detail in the augment code docs. It can also be helpful to run Augie with dash dash help and you'll get a list of all the flags that you can run Augie with. After you've installed it, you need to log in with Augie dash dash login. Augie uses Augment Code's industry leading context engine and indexes your entire code base. You can run Augie from any workspace with the Git repository just by running Augie. If your directory doesn't have a Git workspace, Augie will actually create a temporary workspace. I've made an alias AUG, which equals augie-w dot, which sets the current workspace to the current directory, because I love to run automations with augie everywhere, even in directories that aren't source code. Like here I have a bunch of images. I'm gonna run my org command, and I can say all these images into PNG. Augie will read the directory and run the necessary commands to do whatever I said until it's finished. Boom, and now I have PNGs of all my images. Simple stuff. Augie has an interactive mode and a non-interactive mode for automation. The interactive mode is kind of like how you'd manually talk to the agent on the extension. Running it without any flags will run it in interactive mode. Just a couple things to note with the prompt input. I'm sure a lot of you are used to shift enter for new lines, but that doesn't work with Augie in most terminals at the moment. Control J will work pretty well on all terminals for new lines. Also clearing the input can be done by pressing escape twice as well as command delete. Again, these shortcuts and more will be in more detail in the docs. One of my favorite features is the prompt enhancer. This works like it does in the VS Code extension. You can give a kind of simple prompt and press control P and it will use the context of your whole code base efficiently to enhance the prompt. Boom. Sometimes I like to go back and forth with the enhance prompt to raise things that I haven't even thought about. Another great feature that's also in the extension is the task list. If you go slash task, you bring up the task manager and you can add and remove tasks similar you would in the extension. Pressing forward slash reveals all of the other commands that are available. You can also set your own custom commands. These are cross compatible with Claude code. So if you have custom commands with Claude code, they should show up here as well. Otherwise you can define your own commands in dot augment slash commands. These can be at the project level or in the global level at your home directory. These are essentially just markdown files with plain text prompts of what you want to achieve. So they can be pretty complex workflows that you want to prompt augment, but don't want to retype the whole prompt every time. Augie can be really powerful with automation. I recommend checking the docs. I won't go through it in this video, but essentially you get your token and you can just run it in non-interactive mode to do things like code reviews, issue triage, automating responses and exception management. There's also two ready to use workflows with a wizard inside augment. You can go slash GitHub workflow inside augie and it will guide you through setting the PR description or the PR review workflow with GitHub actions. Um, you can see my first video, I kind of do that as well. Yeah, overall, there's so many possibilities here and powered by the industry leading context engine, I think Augie is going to be a real player in the market. I hope you enjoy.